the software has what we call a sketchpad which enables you to configure a particular beam or to sketch a beam and then sketch the point loads, the distributed loads and then analyze and design the beam and later you can even detail the beam but above that we also um, link the sketchpad to the model you can actually um, like get to the first floor just by navigating this is the first floor and then you can view the properties of the beam of the first floor and then this might be one I can view beam one in sketchpad when you do that, the software will show you beam one. You can see beam one is actually a three span beam. And then you can see the loadings of the beam all laid out in Sketchpad, kind of graphically, in the color of showing you the underlying loadings that the software used to design and analyze the beam as we did earlier. So, why in Sketchpad you can quickly, why in Sketchpad you can quickly, um, if you want to see the, the moment distribution table, just click analyze and design beam and then the software will of course show you the main distribution table you can see my the first was my loading case one this is loading case two and this is loading case three and then you have the share force diagram okay then after that, of course, you have the bending moment diagram. All done in a click. And then you can also synchronize this beam to beam one, which is where we got it from. At the same time, you can also synchronize the loading. You know, we'll talk more about that later in could be in, in, our, in our further studies about the software. But I just wanted to show you, you can see your, the bending moment diagram, of course, above we had the shear force diagram, okay? There are so many things you can do with the sketchpad, but one of them, of course, you can view a particular beam in, in, the, in the model, and then from the model view, you can, you know, send the beam to be seen in sketchpad. So the software, we cannot give you a detailed view of the beam in question, the loadings on the beam, um, so much for the tables and the diagram again let me also show you how you can also use the sketch path to create a simple arrangement for instance um, i can create a new sketch path page okay and then um, i can sketch my bean span i can drop the span of the beam i can change this this is a four meter beam I can also add another span. Could be the length of span. This time around is 3500. I can add another span. So it's 3500. I can add another span. So it depends on how many spans you have. You can always add or you can just delete a span. Okay. Let's see this our last one. Let's assume it's 4,000 then I can sketch my UDL distributed load however it is the software have it covered I can enter my GK let's say 25 I can sketch another UDL Say 10. I can sketch twenty-five. And beside that you can actually overlap loads. I mean it doesn't it takes good care of it. I can put another one here. Call this twelve. I can put another one. However, the loading is the software has it covered. I can put another one here. That's it. When you are done with loading your UDI, I can even add a point load. Let's put a point load here. 
20, put another point load. However, the point load, wherever it got caught, I can actually change this, six, um, say 25. I can actually change the start distance of the point load. Um, let's uh, make it um, 2200. You can see. So it has it covered. I can add another point load. It's 30. So that's it. And the lights and design, that's all you need to do. You can see the software does all the calculation. The bending the, moment there, the, the, the moment distribution is loading case one, loading case two, loading case three. And of course, you have your shear force diagram. And have your minimum moment diagram.